We get so many different products in life, but when it comes to let's say the longest one, the ones I'm really having, it's I've said some good times with, and particularly with this mouse, this Amex 518. This is a product that I've been using for many, many years. You can see a lot of wear and tear, but unfortunate, there was some malfunction with it. What makes this thing unusable? In this video, I just wanted to check out if we can open it up and if we can try to fix this because I find it a very comfortable product and I wanted to use it for many years to come. So one of the huge reasons I hate these, let's say, rubber compound things, you can just see that it's going to be also being, like, say, get a lot of wear and tear, and it looks kind of filthy, and some part is even getting sticky. So this is one of the things that we just need to clean up, but I think the most important thing is just getting this thing to work again. Beside the rubber, it's, it's completely like very filthy. The main problem I needed to replace it is because the scrolling wheel stopped working. So I just needed to check out, can we clean it up and can we start fixing it? Because I just want to clean up the mouse and just start using it again. I have bought myself a replacement, but still the replacement is slightly different when you're comparing it when it comes to the old school Logitech quality. The only thing that we're needing is a prior tool and of course a screwdriver. I already removed the three screws that are underneath. So what they we're needing to do is basically like prior, let's say the parts out if it's going to be stuck. So the next thing that we need to do is removing, let's say the housing from the mouse itself. I also re removed this particular cable and this cable is actually not for I say the scrolling wheel at all so this thing just shows quite a filthy in the inside and this mechanism or at least like the one that we can use over here a map still works fine so we don't going to do anything with this so this is the mechanism that we're finding in the inside and oh boy yeah <laughs> this thing is absolutely filthy what you can just see over there you can just actually see how much filth and dust is under here and this can absolutely be one of the problems so the clicking mechanism still works fine you can just hear it, or at least i can hear the click still works fine but the thing that we want to do is remove this complete like housing and just going to be cleaning everything up because it's quite unfortunate that just throw away a product like this for only one minor problem so the wheel has been removed so i can clean it all up and get rid of all of the freaking hairs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean up all of the dust and all the residue, and we're going to get some pure alcohol and seeing if we can fix it, clean it, and if this is going to be solving the issue. And oh boy, this is a collection of dust bunnies. That is one thing to be sure. And this is another thing that we're needing, just needing to clean up. So the first thing that we're going to do is removing all of the grease and the filth underneath over here. Yeah, you can just actually see that is basically maybe one of the biggest problems we're having. This accumulated in the last like decade or so. It's absolutely filthy to the maximum level. So the next thing I can try to do is also remove this PCB where we can just clean even more thorough. And I think that is one of the things that we absolutely need to do. So let's remove this single screw over here. So we can just actually get underneath and clean even better. Because there is a lot of filth underneath and that is absolutely disgusting when it comes to that so what we can actually do is like try to get a q-tip with some pure alcohol on it and that's something that i wanted to do but before we're going to do that let's get rid of all the other let's say parts because i think this is going to be so much easier to get something getting these things ready to go and clean the bottom part what is kind of interesting too is like when you're looking at the mx518 and some other logitech mouse there are a lot of let's say still let's say spare parts you can actually have with this so i need to be very gentle with this so yeah i just wanted to see if i can get myself like say clean everything up track everything over here and next up maybe get some other let's say tools for example having some not only q-tips but getting these like say cleaning cloth or get yourself you know, a basket with some water in it and we're going to clean it like this. And later on with the air pressure, we're going to be like trying to get all of the other residue off. But let's leave it in here, soak it for a little bit and let's get into the other parts because these were the problems in the end. The same problem is over here when it comes to this particular like say, part. And this is quite unfortunate that there was no, let's say any PCB. So what you can actually do, we can also soak it in. We're just going to get rid of all of the filth over here. And yeah, the downside, if I can get it, like say all of the like, dust off, what I needed to do is get myself, like do be very gentle, get this spring off and just start it cleaning like this. 
the scrolling wheel is going to be in different situation we have also here a lot of filth so let's clean this thing up too let's get all of these let's say dust bunnies out so this seems to be very clean now so let's get this thing the same with this spring a lot of filth on here so pure alcohol it's going to be absolutely one of those crazy ways you can actually like clean this thing up and let's check out if we can just get now the scrolling wheel ready to go because that was the other issue so let's see pure alcohol to see if this thing gets in a little bit cleaner see if we can get this thing to a point that we can actually use it again because it was very, very sticky too and that's another problem where you need to fix the sticky part of the freaking mouse but i think with the pure alcohol it's not only always the case all right, so next up, let's check out the other parts, clean everything up and put it back together to check out if we can actually like use the scrolling wheel again. Everything has been cleaned up. You can see both of the cleaning cloth absolutely filthy. I cleaned up the inside, but also the outside. So there's no dust bunnies or anything going on. So what is positive that the rubber is still intact when it comes to the scrolling wheel, it's not going to be sticky. So that's good. All right, so then we're having the other issue. So when it comes to the dust bunnies, there is still a lot of over here accumulated. You can just see that it's also like having the same overall problem like with the other parts. Yeah, the thing is I can remove everything if I want to, but I don't want to do that. There's a lot of disassembly, but if it's needed, I can always like disassemble all the other parts. Okay, so that was this bunny and let's clean this all up. Because of the wheels now removed, I can just get into it now. Get myself another cleaning cloth over here. Put it with some pure alcohol and just clean it all up from this side on. Stick it in so we can just clean the inside and get everything out. And I'm hoping when everything has been cleaned up, so that will basically also solve our problem when it comes to the scrolling wheel. Because all of the dust bunnies have been removed, you can just see how much filth was inside of this hole was absolutely nuts and of course we need to clean the outside but i think there is nothing much we can save regarding the rubber compound because this thing is just so filthy there's still some filthiest coming off of it but you know the rubber compound i hate those things and it will be sticky forever so far I can, I have removed every single, let's say, dust bunny. So everything has been working perfectly. It was kind of an, let's say, annoying thing to get all of the springs in place. Because for example, this left one over here will give this thing this famous tension and this, let's say, that clicking noise. The moment of the roof, this, this thing finally be fixed. And you can just see that the scrolling wheel is perfectly now. So I can use this old school mouse again. This is not the fastest mouse out there. I think the MX518 has been like returned in a special version back in the day. It's already like a couple of years old with a laser mouse. This is still optical, but still maybe this thing had not the best. I think they call it pulling rate. It's still one of my favorite mouse to get, play some games with and just to enjoy yourself with some editing. This old MX518 has been, let's say, one of my loyal partners in, let's say, the editing and gaming world. And I'm very happy that I could have the option to fix my scrolling wheel. Again, it's one of those videos I love to make just to showcase that you can refurbish or at least like get these things cleaned up and even fix them. There are some of those, let's say, companies out there still making parts. You can just get yourself a new one if you want to, but this is more fun. Because this doesn't cost anything, only a little bit of time. Thank you all for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell. And it will be great to see you in the next video.